just happened to the stock of Centene. I mean, here's a company we have liked for a long time, a health plan provider that's specifically set up to profit from government-sponsored programs like Medicaid, Medicare, and the Affordable Care Act, and yet give you terrific care. And f- frankly, not to toot my own horn, but it's up 65% since the end of last year when we started liking it so much. However, there's some newfound concerns we got to figure out. For one, Obamacare enrollment ends today, and it looks like it will be down versus last year. Doesn't mean they'll be down the whole plan for the nation. For another, the new tax bill ends the individual mandate to buy health insurance, which presumably would hurt Centene's profit if we could really understand what they're doing in Washington. Perhaps most important, just last night, the company announced the 2018 outlook, and to me, the numbers seemed to be terrific, but maybe it wasn't blowout enough for the analysts, so the stock got dinged over 4% today. Oh, and the state of Washington didn't help matters when it temporarily halted Centene from selling plants, although they green them just a little bit after they halted them. So are these worries legitimate, or are we getting worked up over a tempest in a teapot? Let's check in with Michael Nidor, who's the chairman and CEO of Centene. Find out what's really going on, because we like this stock. Mr. Nidor, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you. All right. Good to be here. Good sir. to see you, Michael. Good to see you. All right. Now, those of us who are suffering through trying to figure out open enrollment know that you're there when it comes to the exchanges. Yes. And yet Washington banned you, the state of Washington, and then said you're okay. I mean, this is clearly not the kind of confusion that we want for people trying to figure yeah. out their health care. There was a dispute with a provider on, on fees and some other things. Some, they, they got some of their patients to complain. The state jumped into it, as they should. Right. Okay? And they met with our people over a period of time. It's been resolved. The press release is out. We're re-enrolling. It lasted about eight hours. And Washington can roll a little bit, I'm told, can roll longer in the state plan. So it was a tempest in a teapot. It, it took, we took a hit on the stock over it because right. we had a very successful yeah. investor day today. I went through the investor day, I've got to tell you, because I've known you now. You're yeah. a straight shooter. And I kept thinking, all right, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? The analysts all loved everybody. Loved. And then I hit up the news, and I couldn't believe it because this is crunch time for a lot of people in the country. That's right. You know, and we're, we're, we're going to be up. I think we... we I mean, you're up year over year, so I'm like the nation. We talked about uh, right. 100,000. Now, some of the things they did would, was guaranteed to reduce the enrollment. I mean, right. Sunday from noon to midnight, they service the system. That's when the most enrollment takes place, things of that nature. So I expect this now. We had our direct enrollment programs. They worked. Our lines were backlogged like you can't believe right now, for people trying to get in. We're going to have a very successful... It's at the high end of our margins, above them. Mm-hmm. So this is a good program. People are basically happy. Re-enrollments are good. The, the plan, the numbers, were ahead of consensus. Okay. Well, Things are in good shape. Okay, but let's talk about what they are doing right now in Washington. I mean, uh, there, uh, there's, a, there's a concerted effort to eviscerate uh, yeah. the ACA. And you have always told us, look, we can figure out what to do with or without, but you got to know what you have to deal with. I mean, can you make any sense of what's going on? Well, no. What I understand is we've moved from policy to politics, and we continue to maintain that we're going to deal with the facts as we have them today, because there is no clear direction where it's going. It moves from second to second, one vote to one vote. It's just impossible to figure it, but it's worked for us. Do what you think is right at the time. I had a panel today on the ACA, credible. They, they all, we all agreed, keep moving down the line. Right. We will fix it. All right, now, how about the acquisition, Fidelis? I mean, that's a gigantic acquisition. Yeah, yeah. Is any of this pushback or anything by what's going on with the now politics and no. not policy? No. Fidelis, the integration program is in place right. going. We're moving through the regulatory approvals. I am told that the state really has very little issues. They understand Centene. And what we bring to the party in medical management and good systems. You know, they're working with the church on how, what their mission when they get all this money. Right. So I'm, we're calling it an April 1 close. Okay. So if, if we have to look at what our people are most confused about, we've got the Washington, we've got policy, policy. But you just literally painted a fabulous picture, and your stock is much cheaper than the other companies in this business. Do you think it's because of a misunderstanding that you are really reliant on government programs when none of... The, I, I don't get it. I expect the stock, if we had not had this Washington issue yeah. today, you would have been looking at stock probably 7-plus percent up. I said the same thing this morning. I'm glad you said because I said, this Centene is going to rock it at that analyst meeting in the morning show. And then I couldn't figure out well, what the heck happened. If, if you look at the analyst notes, 
So right. we they were all, I have everyone, and they're all, and they're all uniformly positive. Positive. Everybody felt good about it. They, they, they said it was one of the best investor days they'd been in. And I felt so, too, when I read through it. I think so you've got a good. great company, and this is the only one of the rare buying opportunities in this whole group, let yeah. alone your stock. Yeah. That's Michael Nardo, president and CEO of Centene Corp. I think you're getting a gift here. I'm not kidding. I know this group, and this stock should not be down as much as it is. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.